So today I brought you a super interesting topic. It's about kites. I love kites. I think you figured that by now. It's about like smaller brands because we all know about the big brands. You probably write Nord, Cabrinha, and I, this is good. I love it. But to buy a brand new kite like this, it costs you over 2,000 euro. Yeah, and this is like a, okay, 10 years old, but a Toyota Surprise. Hey, my name is Zolti, and I fly kites for more than a decade. I spent my last six years around and with kite surfing, teaching, instructing people, flying kites, stepping them. So I have a quite broad view about all this topic. And I decided to try something else this time. I decided to try a small brand. Lately, small brands in the kitesurfing industry, they're climbing up. Why? They can produce the whole thing with a lot less cost. They don't have distribution, big distribution system. They don't use marketing. They don't have a stock. That's how they can afford to sell the kite less than a half price of a big brand kite. I think buying a small brand, it's like going to the farmer's market. That you meet the guy who made the whole thing. Self-grown kites, made with full of my heart, with love to you. I think that's good. I, I'm this kind of guy. I don't like the malls. I'd rather go to the small place. I decided to give it a try. Ventum Kiteboarding. Ventum Kiteboarding is made by Sebastian, who is a Netherlands guy. And I never met him, but we had a couple of really good chats online and I really liked the, the stove, the, the whole enthusiasm he shared with me. Well, let's see, that's my review after three months of using Ventum Kites. Okay, about the bag. It's quite nice and decent, I like it. Correct zippers, all good. Inside the bag you will find a compression bag, which is a nice extra. And there is a dedicated place for the bar to put inside as well. No bar bag though. What I really like is this extra piece of cloth under the zipper, protecting your kite so you cannot zip it in super easily. I don't understand why other brands not using it yet, but I think it's a quite good feature. The bar, the bar does not click, but it's actually a very nice and simple bar. I like it. It has a good touch, it's it's clean, it's obvious. Clam cleats for the deep power, under floater knot as I like, and actually very, very quality and strong durable lines. The build of the kite is super nice, just like any other big kite brands. Decent stitches, decent gluing, triple ripstop. All the good materials have been used. The deflate valve is a double deflate valve. There is a dump valve at the end of the kite. Beside that, as you can see, it's just beautiful. We arrive to the port where I'm going to tell you that this kite is just like turns like a 9 and pulls like a 14. But I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, I'd rather share with you a few personal stories and like my own insights about the kite. The kite itself is not a beginner kite. The brand has a one kite which is more easy to understand and more beginner. Although I think it can be used by anyone. The 12 meter kite. It's, it's really, really nice. It's one of my favorite size because it's like 
you can learn stuff on it and doesn't surprise you so much and then really feel the timing on it so it's a hang time machine it's, I think partly because the leading edge on this kite is a little bit thinner than usually on a 12 meter and that makes the kite just turn fast and stay fast during the turns and don't lose momentum so the real fun starts for me from 14 15 16 knots because from this wind I can do jumps when I can do board offs and land it hey, you. It does ride up wind and also does really long from the water but I think this, these days are not really an extra and a kite. The timing is really obvious and uh, that makes a kite for me uh, predictable. Unhook and slack, it's not really my discipline although I do it time by time. I feel the slack is alright on this. Yeah, the kite flies from, from 9 knots. 8 knots ish. I was out foiling, I think just sub 10 knots. It was okay, but for me, it's like 12, 13 knots at least needed on a 136 to, to get this thing going and to keep it fun, you know, it's not like. So, we were here in Kenya for at least two weeks and we've never been really close to 20 knots. But one day, low tide, very shallow and flat water and it was around 17, 18 so I was about powered in the 12 and I decided to okay uh, give it a go on the 9 I was ready to walk up and I just wanted to you know try it well this session was freaking amazing managed to do some loops not super powerful but just to get the dynamics of the kite and yeah like two years ago I tried the enduro the, the second version it's an ozone kite I I loved it. It was like straight away connection between me and the kite. So I just went out and second, on my second jump, I tried to loop because like the kite was like pushing me towards it. Like, okay, just try me because I will catch you. And I feel really similar this kite to that. Although of course it's not the same, but still like I felt this kind of encouraging feeling in the kite that it's all right, just go for it. And then you will do those loops. Really, I really felt the timing on this that you can send it low and lower and like it feels super nice and the kite is dynamic and goes back up catching you and like the second loop for landing, it's, it's really, really predictable. Altogether, I love this night, it's so good. Yeah, overall, it's an amazing kite and does the job what, what I need it for. It's fast, it looks like it's durable, all, all the build looks very good. So, just like any other kite brands that uh, might be more expensive than this. And I think that's one of the conclusions of this video, that uh, those brands are great, they doing, uh, the big brands are doing big researches and like uh, they're putting the effort and money into figure out new materials, just like Ocean Rodeo now with the Aluda material, I think it's amazing. But those small brands allow like certain people to enter the sport. Those young people and like many other people deserve to kite. And basically these brands are pretty much opening doors for these guys. And uh, I think it's amazing in these brands that basically they perform at least as good as any of the big production brands.